Hi, and welcome to the Treybox video on setting up a WooCommerce integration. Okay, so let's get started. I'm on our WooCommerce test site. We can see them in the product section, and you can see that I've got a quantity of 100 in stock on these products. And if we go to the orders section, we can also see that we've got a couple of orders here, three of them are processing, two are complete. Okay, so before we can start a connection in Treybox, one of the things that you do need to do is to set up some API keys. To do that, you click on Settings, you click on API, and you click on the Keys Apps link. And you can see we've got a number of them already set up. They're very simple. You click on Add Key, give your API key a name, give it Read Write Permissions, and click on Generate API Key and then you copy the core URL of your website and you'll also need to copy your consumer key and your secret key. So this is something I've already done in advance. Okay, so let's open up Treybox. Okay, so we can see in Treybox, we have no channel integration set up. We have no orders, no products. There's nothing that needs to be marked as shipped we have no customers so before i get started to set up um, a channel integration one of the things that you do need to look at if we go to maintenance and preferences is where your stock control is going to come from now this is determined when you set the program up um, you've got a choice between Treybox controlling the stock levels or taking the stock levels from your account software or not to do stock levels at all so for the sake of the example i'm going to use Treybox. Uh, we'll click on save and we'll go ahead and we'll set up a channel so we click on new within the channel section from the drop down list i'm going to choose woocommerce click on next needs a name so i'm just going to use woocommerce and we need to choose a currency so the currency uh, Treybox channels can only download orders with a single currency if you have multiple currencies you need to set up multiple connections to your same website Next thing it needs to know is the connection details. So let's grab these. So again, it's the core URL from your website. It's your consumer key. And it is your consumer secret. Click on next. Okay, the next thing Tribux needs to do is to ascertain what order statuses you have on your website. So I'm gonna click on this little arrow here and it goes off and downloads all of the orders for the last 10 days. And you can see it's determined that there are two statuses available and it wants me to match the online status to a trade box status. So I'm going to say processing is equal to paid and completed is equal to completed. Click on next. The next thing Tradebox wants me to do is to download the inventory from WooCommerce. And now if I'd set this up for Sage to is Sage to be the inventory system or zero to be the inventory system, it would be going across to the, to those channels and pulling the inventory from those accounts packages. Click on this box, click on finish. Okay, and it's now asking me if I want to set up an accounts integration. I'm not going to do that for the purpose of this. So you can see we've got a channel set up. It's not active. The downloads turned off and the upload is turned off. If I go into trade box, into the channel, it gives me a maximum setting here to go back a maximum of 60 days. I've currently got it set on seven and we can see we've got the statuses set up if i did want to do an accounts integration this is where we would do it from okay so um what we're going to do if i just close that i'll activate this channel and i'll also tell tradebox i want it to upload stock levels okay so sitting behind tradebox is a service uh, the service is an automated script that sits here and it basically connects to your channel, downloads your orders, uploads your stock levels, changes your order statuses uh, and just works in a constant loop. So if you've got more than one channel set up, Treybox will connect to them each in turn. And we can see what Treybox is doing within the log section by just clicking on the process log here and it's telling us exactly um, what it's doing. Okay, so we're jumping onto the order section now. We can see that we've got five orders here, and we can see that three have been paid and the two are complete. If we've got the product section, 
we can see that some of our stock levels have been decremented, but we've also have some stock levels allocated, which is amended or free stock levels. The shipping section is telling me that there are three orders that need to be marked as shipped on WooCommerce. If I choose all of them and click on dispatch, and they disappear from the shipping module, go to orders, they now have a status of scheduled for dispatch. And once I've done that again, they get placed into the workflow with the um, service and the service will go mark them as dispatched or complete on WooCommerce. And then that information will change on the trade box system. Uh, while waiting for that to happen, if we just jump into one of the orders, we can see that we've got an item line um, for each item that's been purchased on the order. The unit price, Trevox has calculated the tax based upon what we've sold and where it's been shipped to in the world. And then we have all the information about um, the individual uh, order. Okay, if we just pop back online, uh, we we'll click on refresh here, we can see that they're still processing completed. If we refresh the page, we can see that these orders have now changed from a status of paid to complete. Uh, if we look in trade box and look at the orders here, they've now been marked as dispatched within trade box. And if I want to get them out of my list, I just simply um, select them, click on status and mark them as complete within trade box. And then I can configure trade box to only show me orders that are open. Um, so at the moment we're seeing status of all for choose open and click on apply. They disappear out of my workflow. Um, if we jump onto products, we can see that the stock levels have been decremented in trade box. If we go across to WooCommerce, click on products, we can see these stock levels here, which were 100, have been decremented in line with what's within trade box. Okay, thanks very much for listening. Uh, if you have any questions, jump onto our website, tradebox.co.uk, click on support, and that will take you to the help center. Thanks very much for listening.